Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. As you guys can see by the title, and if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw me asking for questions about this little pupper. But today we are going to be meeting, well I've already met him obviously, but you guys are going to be meeting our new puppy. Now I am so excited to show you guys him. I'm so excited to take some videos and just be able to look back on his puppy phase. It goes by so quickly, so I'm excited to have a big long video of it on the internet that I can look back on. So before I bring him into the video, I have a few of you guys' questions to answer before bringing him on here. I don't know how he'll like all of the lights in this room, so the time in this room will be minimal. So I'm gonna answer a few of you guys' questions off of Instagram before I bring him in. I'm sure you guys are already skipping to the part where he's in the video and might come back to this part because you just wanna see him and you can't wait. And honestly, I understand. So just please come back after you've snuck a pee. So the first question that I have to put out here is, is he totally my puppy or is he our family dog? He is completely, the family pet. He's not just personally mine and for that I am very happy because as you guys know if you've had a puppy, puppies are a lot of work and they deserve a ton of attention as do all dogs not just puppies. But I feel like me with a busy schedule I can't be the only one watching him because I want him to have constant love and constant attention. So it is the whole family's dog, mainly my parents and mine because I am around all the time and he comes to work a lot and I'll like play with him, take him out, take him for walks, all that jazz. Now the absolutely most asked question from you guys is what breed is he? By the way, this person said love you. Love you too. <laughs> what was that? Okay, you guys have been very curious about the breed and you know, I teased like this little thing on Instagram where I asked which one you guys would prefer, Bernie Doodle or Golden Doodle, and he is neither of those. This is a breed that I have never personally thought that I would own, but I knew our family would probably own one at some point, and that is for the fact that my dad has this very, very deep, deep love for chihuahuas. <laughs> so you guys could probably tell where this is going. So yes, our new puppy is a chihuahua poodle, which is called a chai poo. I'm gonna go and grab him so I can show you guys uh, what he looks like, obviously. And then I'll get into more of you guys' questions about him. All right, you guys, so here is the little baby. He's never been under such bright lights before. He's a little bit tired. He's been running around. Um, his name is Chip by the way. My mom was the biggest chooser of the name. It was basically down to two names, which I'll get into, but his name is Chip. Quite honestly, he might just fall asleep right on me right now, so let's get into some more of the questions. So, okay, what were your options for names before you picked one? So, okay, this is kind of a funny story. Chip was a front runner from the beginning, but I would say that the biggest name choices, I really liked the name Bear, but it didn't make it very far within the family. They didn't like it as much as I did. And I also really wanted to name him and my dad was totally on board with the name Kyle. So you guys, like the name Kyle is hilarious to me. I don't know why. Okay, I'm back. I just had to wrap him up like a burrito. Um, he's really sleepy right now, so I tend to try and wrap him up like a little baby. And he'll just fall asleep right on you and you can pass him around and he'll just stay sleeping. He's like super tired and like, oh, sorry, I just walked up the stairs. I Googled like how much a puppy sleeps because initially I was like, wow, he's sleeping a lot. But I guess puppies can sleep up to like 19 hours a day. So he is tired a lot and when he is energetic, we run around with him a ton, so he always goes and kind of like, this is his energy cycle, it goes like this. So anyways, I was explaining to you guys why I think the name Kyle is hilarious. So Kyle as like a human name to me is fairly regular, but Kyle as a dog name, like especially this little cutie, like he's so small, so little, to have someone come up and be like, what's your dog's name? And you're like, his name is Kyle. Now that I've said it so much, it's starting to lose like it's hilariousness to me. And like, but when I first thought of that, I was laughing out loud. And then when I told my dad, he was laughing out loud. So I'm wondering what your guys' reaction to the name Kyle is. I'm sure a lot of you guys, like a lot of the people I talk to, are super happy that I didn't name him Kyle, but honestly, I probably would have, but my mom really liked Chip, and so did I, and so did my dad, and so did my brothers. So it was kind of unanimous that his name would be Chip. One question is, is it hard to house train the baby? Now, 
for instance, if he was to pee inside and then you didn't take him out and like show him where to honestly pee. So like if you missed him peeing in the house, like you didn't see it or you didn't find it, then he might go about thinking that that's normal. So I think when we got him, uh, he didn't have that figured out just yet. So we're kind of just doing that work right now. I think he's like a really quick learner, but it's really hard to say sometimes because there's really good days and then there's really bad days. But I would say that he's learning at a quick pace. And I think within the next like week or so, he'll be great. Because right now it's kind of like four out of five times is good. The fifth time, it's a wild card, honestly. This question is, is he already able to do stunts? If so, show them. One that's really interesting is I was passing around the volleyball and whenever it would land on the ground, he'd chase after it, but he wouldn't just chase after it. He would like start rolling it around with his nose. I actually have like a picture of him standing beside it. Here is him. He's literally the size of a volleyball right now, but he'll push it around with his nose. So I'll go ahead and put a clip of that in. Okay, you guys, so you guys asked to see some of his skills. Well, he is a professional soccer player. <laughs> Let's do this. But I would say that that's his best stunt right now. He likes to push around the volleyball. The neighbors came over and watched him push around the volleyball from like a many feet distance. Everyone was like looking and they were like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> what is the puppy's personality like? Playful, social, etc. Now, he is literally every single one. He's feisty enough that he goes after my feet randomly. Like literally the other day I was like walking and he was going after my toes so much and he has sharp little teeth. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna put a couple pairs of socks on and that way he can just bite my toes and it won't hurt. So I put some socks on and then he was uninterested in my feet. So in that sense, he's a little feisty. He's also super playful. Like, like I said, these are his like energy levels and when he's here, like he wants to run, he wants to play, all of that. He's very loyal though. Like for instance, you can walk him off a leash and he will stay right by your feet. He likes to only walk near you. He won't stray very far. But then when he's lazy, he's basically like a rock. He's like a bag of flour. For instance, I'm carrying him like a baby right now. If I was to pass him over to my dad, he wouldn't even open his eyes. A few questions about Scooby. So the first one is, will he be using some of Scooby's old belongings if you still have them? And he has been jumping around on Scooby's old bed. Scooby had the best bed ever. It was huge. It was actually for like a really big dog, but we got it for Scooby because he just loved lounging by the window and looking out. So we were like, he deserves a nice big bed. And if you guys don't know who Scooby is, he's my background right now and he's also on my pop socket. He was our family dog since I was like a very young child. He grew up with me and it's kind of difficult to talk about, not gonna lie, because like, although he had an amazing life and a long life for a dog, it just wasn't long enough. I often say that like, and this is no offense obviously to Chip, but I often said like, I would have loved to have Scooby as my dog like my whole life. Like there was no need for like another dog if I could change the duration of dogs expected lives. I would have made Scooby's like a thousand years because he could have made anyone happy. Losing Scooby was very difficult um, just because you're just not ready for them to go. And I think anyone who's had a very important fur baby pass away, it's just like your life goes on, but theirs doesn't. And it just doesn't seem fair and it's not what you want. But uh, I've come to terms with it. And although Scooby will never ever come close to being replaced, the love for Chip is strong, but it is different. Like Scooby is very much still my baby. And like, although Chip is too, Chip doesn't replace Scooby at all. <laughs> and I know that sounds 
weird to say because it's obvious, but for me, it's like important to say because Scooby still has like a really big part in me. And like, I'm hopeful that there's one day that I'll get to see him again. So um, most of Scooby stuff, we are going to get framed. Um, but the bed is so big, it wouldn't fit in a frame. And we had it in the garage because our cats liked it. So Chip has been laying on that a fair bit. And I think he really likes the way it smells because it smelled like Scooby. Do you think Scooby would have liked your new puppy? Absolutely. Scooby was so loving towards like the cats, um, any other dog. He was like the dad. Like he was our baby, but he was a dad influence. Like I remember when we first got our cat many years ago, um, it was like... At first, the cat didn't like Scooby, but Scooby really persevered for the cat to trust him and like him. And then I remember walking into the room and Scooby was sleeping and the cat was like curled up right on top of him. And it was like Scooby was a protector and like very caring and just like a really thoughtful, loving dog. Like it's interesting because you think that you're the only one that like really knew your dog and loves your dog. But like when we talk to like our family friends or like our neighbors, and we talk about Scooby like being a major loss to lose. They're like, well, totally. He was like a stand up dog and like he was just like one in a billion. And it was like, it's true. Like he just really was special and like a really unique personality that like is really easy to fall in love with. So to answer the question, <laughs> I think Scooby would have loved this dog. I wish Scooby could have met Chip. Um, I think that they would have got along great and it, would have been a lot happier of a house with having both of them running around, but again, just not how it works. What is it like having a new puppy after the loss of Scooby? Hope he brings you a lot of joy. <laughs> Why are you reacting? What is it? Good morning. Have, have you just hit your top? Have you just started to freak out? When Scooby was around, it was like I'd wake up and I'd go lay on Scooby's bed and I'd see him and then like Throughout the day, I'd take him out, and then at night, he was like the last thing I saw. When I'd nap, I'd nap with him. Um, he was like a big influence, and even like the sound, his collar, like the dangling piece that said Scooby, would make hitting his food dish. After he passed away, like a couple days later, it was like the dishwasher was going, and it sounded like Scooby's collar clanging against the dish bowl. And so I came out confused because it was like, it was almost like he was still there, but he wasn't. So it took a really long time to get used to like not having a dog in the house. And it's almost like I did eventually get used to it after like obviously a year plus. Um, so now having a dog, there's a lot of similarities. He's definitely more high maintenance than Scooby was because he is a puppy and he needs more like Scooby would like keep to himself a lot and just really enjoy walks and really enjoy the attention we gave but he wouldn't really beg for it whereas this little baby you can imagine he begs and demands attention but like it's really fun to have a dog around I think everyone with a puppy knows that or with a dog just knows like they really do brighten your day there's just bundles of joy and uh that's what Chip is and that's what Scooby was and still is Chihuahuas have like such apple shaped heads and their eyelids kind of like poke out a little bit And like I've just noticed so many details about him since having him and if you guys haven't noticed like His two little bottom paws have a little bit of white on them and like he's got little white fur anyway Okay, the last question is Favorite toy now he does have a favorite toy, but I thought a fun part of this video would be Making him a toy. So I was googling like what should I make him and Something came up and I've never heard of it. It's called a snuffle rug now I'm sure if you guys have probably heard of it basically you wove like this basically Almost like a shag carpet, but it's made out of like fleece stuff and then you can hide treats in it and it will keep them busy and like it gets rid of boredom if you're not always around. And we're around constantly, but sometimes I am busy doing something when he wants attention. So I thought it would be fun if he wanted to just like scope out a little treat in his snuffle rug. So we're gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna make it. And then we're gonna watch him play with it. You wanna say hello to everyone? You've managed to sleep through the whole thing. 
Every time I sneeze, I try to like not sneeze too loud because I don't want to scare him. I promise at some point in this video, you'll see him with a little bit more energy. But like, like I said, when he's tired, he's like a rag doll. Like he has no movements. So tired. If in my next video I'm bald, just know that this is why. Because this dog loves my hair. <laughs> okay guys, so I have some stuff behind me. Now, if you've never heard of a snuffle rug, I learned about it on Pinterest. And this is basically what you need. So these are fleece blankets right here, and then these are towels. Nobody really has used towels, I don't think. But I think it just kind of has to be a thin fabric that you can hide treats in. And then this mat is pretty important. I cut one out already. So this is where you're going to weave everything through. This is what you need. I had to smell it. So I picked this like fleece blanket and then this one is a towel. So this towel used to have like lemons on it. And then this is another fleece blanket and it's pink. So there's a bunch of pieces. They're about the same length and width. Little cutie is biting his little thing right now. You want to play with it just like that, don't you? Also, this isn't really a huge tutorial. Um, I will link a tutorial down below on how to make these. But uh, if you get understand the gist of it, then great. And I think this will be good too because like, I remember Scooby used to really eat his food super fast, so I bought one of those like maze bowls that they take a second to eat through, and I think that he really enjoyed it. He so did. I think Scooby would have loved a snuffle mat. Oh yeah, I agree. All right, and then this is what the bottom is gonna look like, and then you're going to do the knots here, here, here. Here's what that looks like. So now we have all of them diagonal. Now you're going to do with white over again through Horizontal here. Right. Okay. I'm trying to cut. I'm trying to cut some strips of fabric for you. All right, you guys. Quite a bit while later, here it is. This is how it turned out. This is exactly how the DIY ones I've seen on Pinterest turns out. Here's the bottom though, like underrated. This part looks so satisfying. And my mom and I were talking, if he doesn't use it to find treats in, he'll definitely use it as a bed. It's nice and soft. So I think we're gonna take Chip out. He's sleeping right here right now on a bit of the extra fleece. So we'll take him out and we'll see how he likes it. So I have a little bit of treats for Chip. And I have his mat right here. We're gonna see how he likes it. We tried to pick somewhere out of the wind. I don't know if the audio's any good, but you don't need audio to see a dog enjoying this. So let's see, Chip, are you excited? Look at that. I'm gonna hide the treats in his mat and just see if he can find them. Oh my gosh, he's going crazy. He's going crazy. <laughs> He's trying to chip. Okay, wait, I'm gonna hold him back here just so I can put him in. Okay, now this is the snuffle part. Oh my gosh, he's not even in screen. Oh. <laughs> there he is. I can see this keeping him busy. Oh yeah.
All right, you guys, I'm not exactly sure what the stuffle mat proved, but he liked it. I'm happy I made it. I thought it would be more fun to have this video if I like tried to make him something. Whether or not that made it more entertaining, you guys can be the judge. I hope that you guys enjoyed meeting Chip. I'm really happy to have him and be a part of the family, and hopefully he'll be in more videos soon. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!